Hello everyone, welcome back to the layout. Now it is a week ago since the last trains went through Camelwell Station. So this is the next week and Network Rail has already started on the electrification. So as you can see here, you can see the stanchion has already been put in and just near the hotel you've got a um, stanchion pole that has been already put into the ground and next has got to be another stanchion like one of these so there is going to be a gantry that goes across across here and don't forget this is the, the next week of the the last week was the final train run so this is the week two and the progress has already started. So we're going to move over to Camelwell Station, which nothing much has changed recently, other than an information board which has been added to the station. And a load more trees have been installed near the railway and near the bridge as well so hopefully that tree won't collapse over the railway line because it is a very tall tree and if it gets any taller it will have to be cut down so we're going to move over to the to the end of Camwell station where another um, catenary uh, mast has been put in place. So the arm and the pole have been done already. And that is about it for the end of Camelwell Station. So we're going to move around to the level crossing. And wow, the signal box has been demolished. So that must mean another stanchion has got to go in because there is a stanchion mast being put up. So there must be one going around there somewhere. So that's why the signal box has been demolished. And plus, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be some cameras that go there to operate the level crossing since the signal box has been demolished. So hopefully we should see the new camera system and another part of the stanchion. So we're going to move over to North S Station and another catenary mast has been placed at the end of the line of Platform 4. Just near where the, the tunnel is, you can see a another stanchion mast, which is just in between the track and the bus depot. So that. I wonder where that will be placed. I don't know. I don't think it will be going there. I think it might be going somewhere around here. I think it's just been placed there. So here we are at 
North S station where not much progress has happened on the station just yet other than as the name of North S station has been moved over because it was originally here So we've got a small digger on platform 3 and 4 doing some work. So not really much has happened over the, the first week of the electrification. Oh, a new bridge has been installed. So it looks like maybe from when the last trains were running, I think Network Rail just start got started on the uh, old footbridge. I think the reason why they've done this is because they've put a new one in for the electric wires. So I think this one is way taller than the other bridge that was here before. So we've got a little bit of a fence here, plus on platform two, just there. And at the end of platform two as well. So I think the fencing will go around here and across there. And I think that's what's going to happen here. So there's going to be another fence coming across there and here and up here. So there is quite a few catenary mass uh, stanchions that have been placed next to the railway. And there's two more there. And there isn't many catenary stanchions up yet, other than four that have been placed up. So there's one by the level crossing one at the very end of platform four, one over near Camelwell Depot, which is just near the DRS 57, and the other one was near the hotel, which is just around there. So hopefully by next week a load more stanchions will have gone up by that week. But because it's getting near the Christmas holidays, Network Rail haven't been doing lots to the to the railway because it is near Christmas so they would have had to leave um the job to go home to see their families so that is why there isn't much happened over the first week all that we can see is a maintenance train in platform 3 with the GBRF class 66 66 789 she's in charge of the maintenance train and that's about it, but there's a lorry here with a load more fencing, so that should be going along platform 3 and 4. And there should be some that go along platform 1, so there should be one that goes at the end of platform 1. And there as well, just along that bit there. So that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe. And to make sure you never miss a video, make sure you tap that notification bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next Engage electrification video. Bye for now.